I work as a restaurant consultant. I don't work in a restaurant per se, but I do a lot of home cooking. But if you're good enough, you can do anything. It's like sports. If you're a great football player, you just you declare for the draft earlier. Look at LeBron James. He left high school and went straight into the league. So I'm like, I'm like the LeBron James of cooking. And I like the pressure. I'm used to it. And pressure makes diamonds. So I'm ready to go. I'm making my take on a salmon niçoise with a beef gastrique. It's going to blow some people's minds. Every note on the palate gets hit with this dish. It's savory, it's salty, it's sweet, and nothing like this has ever been done before, so prepare to be wowed. It's going to be a flavor textural explosion. This is the Olympics of cooking, then I'm going to be the Michael Phelps. <laughs> Jennifer in a little spoon. It is trendy, it's delicious, it's easy on the eyes. Salmon? Beet? Beet, definitely beet. I test a kalamata olive. That was a meal. That was a, a meal on a spoon, salad, crunchiness, starch. A lot going on there. Is everyone locked in or are you still pondering over there? Locked in. Wow. May I ask your name? I am Jennifer. So tell me about this. We got the salmon. It was a play on a niçoise. So there was the haricot there and the olive, the grated hard-boiled egg, and it was the salmon, and it was a, a beet, and also it was sourdough breadcrumbs on the top. Well, listen, I normally do not like so many different flavors going on, especially in such a, like a small space, but you balance them well. My problem, and this is where I am um, withdrawing from the fray, is that for me the sweetness slightly overwhelmed. Beet and salmon love each other. It's beautiful, you know. You should build this spoon in the kitchen and, and eat this spoon. Because when I ate the spoon, no matter how many good flavors were up there, it was just beet. I'm going to have to take myself out, but I, I think you're on to something. Can you say hi? Bonjour. You know, I really respect what you did. I mean, but if you just put a vinaigrette with lemon juice, olive oil, and some herbs, it will be perfect. Your reduction was too sweet. And I'm going to say no, sorry about that. A lot of people say I want to follow my passion, and people encourage them, and they, quite honestly, probably be better off not pursuing their passion. In your case, however, I would urge you to continue cooking and getting better and better. I don't think you're there yet. This was too sweet for me. But, but please don't be discouraged and, and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. That's somebody who's going to get yeah. better and better, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. I'm very upset. You know, the, the criticisms definitely kind of weigh down heavy, but it's all right. Can't give up.